President Cyril Ramaphosa recently tested positive for COVID-19. He is currently receiving treatment for mild symptoms. To tell us how the President is doing, Minister in the Presidency, Monty Gungubele, joins us now via Zoom. Minister, thank you very much for your time. This is, I think, uh, day five of the President's uh, um, quarantine or isolation, rather. How is he doing? He's halfway there. All right, Minister, I think, uh, I think you've muted yourself. Just very quickly, help us. <laughs> Sorry. It's, Sorry. It's okay. uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon, and good afternoon to your worship. And thanks for the opportunity. Hmm. All I can say, the president is, continues to recuperate. Symptoms continue to subside. Yeah. And we are waiting the day when he's out of isolation to reconnect with South Africa and do his work. So far, we're happy with the recuperation uh, process. Oh, okay. mm. Have you spoken to him recently, Minister? How does he sound to you? I spoke to him uh, roughly about an hour ago. He's in good mood. He's enjoying the rest. One of the things you maybe South Africa should understand, which I've also warned the president about, is that uh, I think at some stage he does need rest. Uh, if you work with him and you know how he works for 24 hours without rest, sometimes you must understand when you overwork yourself, your immunity system just get uh, just get a bit moved. But uh, having said all that, and uh, so some a lot of things do happen now that he's also having rest after all, not because that was an intention. Mm. But the point is that the president is recuperating. Yeah. Minister, how are you doing? I mean, we found out that the president tested positive on Sunday and you both were at the former president de Klerk's funeral together. Um, how are you doing? Did you get uh, tested after finding out about the president's results? Thanks, Haka, for that question. Uh, I think about two, if not three days ago, myself and my entire team, the protection unit, my PA, we all went for a test in Cape Town. Fortunately, we all got uh, negative results, which we have on record as I speak. And of course, we continue to stay adherent to the protocols like anybody else and so on. All right. Uh, and Minister, just very quickly, I mean, a lot of South Africans finding out that the NCCC will be meeting on Monday or Tuesday. Um, and a lot of people saying, oh, my goodness, this is in time for the president to heal and probably ask us for a family meeting. We know, we know South Africans are missing the family. We know South Africans are missing the family meeting. We cross fingers that uh, when the NCCC meets, maybe the president will be there, but we don't want to make a commitment to that. We just want to respect the rate at which he is recuperating, and we don't want to put the cart before the horse. We want to await him to recuperate without us interrupting that process. But we hope the president will be part of us next week. We don't know. But the, indeed, the NCCC is going to meet next, next week. I'm sure the minister might have shared with you that we met and the view was that we need to hold on on the current uh, measures as they, as they exist because the clinical manifestation is not has not actually indicated uh, uh, any threat to the hospital to the health facility capacity up to this point we all are encouraging people to stay alert protocols social distancing mask and everything else Let's hope the president will be there, but uh, anyway, the, the NCCC and the cabinet are sitting next week. Mm. Uh, let's hope the president will be there. Let's hope the NCCC will give an opportunity for the president to talk to the counterpart. We cannot make any undertaking as far as that aspect is concerned. Mm. But we know the people are missing the president. <laughs> um, Minister, uh, there's also, you know, that uh, court uh, decision that came out during the course of this week pertaining to the former president and <coughs> heading back to prison. Is cabinet concerned at all? Have you discussed um, as cabinet maybe a uh, concern about a possible, uh, possible unrest that we saw uh, back in July? Listen, uh, the security class addressed the country yesterday mm. that matter, regarding, although the, the, the people, the, 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 let me put it this way, 
Yes. The Department of Correctional Service has actually indicated an intention to, to appeal and a process that we want to respect. Mm. But I would, having said that, during the, its briefing, the security cluster around the festive season and a number of other issues related to that, the security cluster trying to reassure South Africans that whatever eventuality, be it crime during festive season, they were able to answer that question by saying everything is being, is, is being put under a radar screen, everything is being washed, and the, the entire system of security, be it the police and, and everyone relevant uh, uh, units are all uh, in readiness to deal with whatever eventuality. All right. Thank you very much for your time. That is uh, Minister in the Presidency, Monli Gungubele.